is Tuesday and we are ready for language. Turn to lesson 146, page 265. Turn to page 265. We are talking about a thesaurus. What is the difference between a thesaurus and a dictionary? Does it? A dictionary tells us the definition, while a thesaurus tells us synonyms and antonyms. We are talking about those today. We are going to be looking at the look closely on top of page 265. Follow along as I read it. Like a dictionary, a thesaurus has guide words to help you find words quickly. What are their guide words on page 264? Hunter. Your guide words are sliver and slow. That will help you find any kind of word that's on that page. All right, let's keep on reading. Look closely. The part of speech, the parts of speech of the words are given. Find the word sloth on your sample thesaurus page. Go. Why? Allie, what's the part of speech for sloth? If you find the word sloth, there's a little N right behind it. What does N stand for? It stands for noun. So we know the part of speech for sloth is a noun. Also, there are slang words in a dictionary. Slang words means not proper words, words that you shouldn't use in your writing. You should use more proper words that would fit the, the professionalism of your paper. Slang word could be kind of like sloppy words. Find the word slow. Everyone, find the word slow. What does it say behind slow? Well, it has a part of speech now, but then it says slang. If you ever see the word slang behind an entry word, try not to use it in a research report or any in an official paper that you're writing because it's not proper. Try to avoid those in your writing. All right, look at the word, look at the entry word sloping. Find sloping. Did you find it? You should see the word slanting right behind it in capital letters. That means that you should find the entry word slanting. It will not be on this page. You would go, you would probably, yeah, you would go back and you would find the word slanting and then it will give you the definition. These two words are pretty similar. So instead of putting synonyms under after both words, they chose to put the synonyms underneath slanting. So if you're working for the word sloping, find the word slanting, it would be on a different page, and then they'll give you all kinds of synonyms and antonyms that you can use. All right, we are ready for think. I dropped my marker. It says, you see information on page 264 to complete this puzzle. We are going to do one, three, two, and four together. So across, number one, which synonym for slew? I looked this up. The, the, the YouTube uh, video said either slough or slew. So, which synonym for slew verb is slang? Find the word slew on your dictionary page. Notice how it says slew verb. There are two, there are two uh, parts for the word slew. Find where it says verb. The first one is a noun. Find where it says verb. Now go and try to find the word slang in the, def in the synonyms given. What word talks about, what word says, what, which word is slang? What do you see? What do you think? Carrie, what do you think? You might be going too fast. You can pause and look for it. They give the word kick. Then right after kick, they have slang in parentheses. That means they're talking that kick is slang for slew. All right. So that would be your answer for number one across. You would put kick. Let's go to number three. Under what word would you find synonyms for slog? Find so that the clue word is slog. Find slog on your on your sample page. Let's look for it. Slog. Ooh, look at this. Right after the word.
word slog, it has verb. Then it has, I just lost it, it says plod in all capital letters. So what word would you look for for synonyms for slog? They gave you another word to look up. So you're supposed to look up plod and then they'll give you all the synonym list. So for cross, for number three across, you write plod. Let's go to down number two. What is the third synonym for slogan? Find slogan on your sample page. Slogan. Count three over. We have catchword, we have moto, and <laughs> moto. Sorry. Motto. <laughs> and then we have shibboleth. I'm hoping I'm pronoun pronouncing that right. So number two, down, you should write. Shibboleth. Let's see if I can spell it right. Shibboleth. I'm thinking that's correct. Nope, two B's. My bad. My bad, my bad. Shibboleth. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to stop making videos today. <clears throat> my, my brain is not working as it should. Number four, down. What part of speech is the word slower? Find the word slower. What part of speech is it, Jensen? It is a verb. So number four down, you'd write verb. Because the V right behind the word stands for verb. All right, turn the page. You can pause it while you finish it. Turn the page to two, page 266. Let's read the instructions. We're reviewing synonyms, antonyms, and homonyms. Synonyms. What do synonyms mean, Hunter? Words that have the same or nearly the same meaning. Just enough. I asked Justin. Elise, what does antonym mean? Words that have opposite meaning. And Sarah, what do homonyms mean? Homonyms, words that sound alike or nearly alike but have different spellings and meanings. Think A. Write S in the blank if the two words are synonyms. Write A in the blank if the words are antonyms. Oh, we're just talking about synonyms and antonyms. That should be pretty easy. Number one, we have innocent and we have guilty. What do you think of these? Out. Antonym. They mean the opposite. Number two, we have follower, we have disciple. Think of being a follower of Jesus and thinking of being a disciple of Jesus. Would that be a synonym or an antonym? It would be a synonym. It means nearly the same thing. So you would write S on the blank. Finish Think A by yourself. Go to Think B. Use your dictionary to find the meaning of each word on the left. Then draw a line to its antonym on the right. Before we do this, we need to read the words because we need to figure out how to pronounce them. Number one, how do you say it? Intensify. Intensify. Yes. Number two, mendacious. Number three, I had looked it up, but I kind of forget. Taciturn. 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 I'm hoping I'm saying that correct. I'll have to look it up and tell y'all. Or you can look it up and then correct me. That'd be kind of fun. Number four, ecstatic. Number five, melancholy. Now, since you know how to pronounce them, you can look them up. I don't think your dictionaries are uh, advanced enough to have some of these words. You can look them up in the dictionary, but they might not be there. I'm allowing you to use an online dictionary with the permission of your mom. You can pause the video, talk to your mom, then ask if you can look up the words. And then match them to the correct synonym. No, to, then draw a line to its antonym on the right. So the words you look up, you will look, on the, you will look to the words on the right, and you will find a word that means the opposite of the definition. And you're going to draw a line. So talkative, sour, sorrowful, reduced. Truthful, cheerful, those are antonyms. Remember, antonyms are words that have opposite meaning. I'm going to let you do that by yourself. If you have any questions, let me know. Think C. Correctly spell a homonym for a 
each of the following words. Oh, this will be fun. Homonyms, words that sound alike or nearly alike but have different spellings and meanings. Number one, read it to yourself, Sunday. And it's a good idea to look, look away. Sunday, what's another kind of Sunday? It would be the day of the week. So your job, well, number one, you would write Sunday with a capital S, the name of the week. If you need help spelling, ask your mom. Number two, read. Read it to yourself. <laughs> read. Read to yourself. Read. Look away and say, read. What kind of read are you talking about? It's not a read like a piece of straw or something. It is what? It's an action verb saying, I will read this book. How do you spell it? R-E-A-D. Number three, road, road. <laughs> they gave us two words. What would be a homonym for road, road? Look away. Road, road. They have the kind of road that you drive on. We have the kind of road that I rode a horse. What's another kind of road? What am I doing? I rode a boat yesterday. So it would be a past form of the verb row. So road. R-O-W-E-D, I rode a boat yesterday. Number four, way. Look away, way, what kind of way are they talking about? They are talking about how much do you weigh? I weigh, da 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 fill it in. <laughs> W-E-I-G-H, number four. Number five, it's. It is a contraction. We have two words. It is. But you, you cannot write it is because that's not a homonym. What word me, sounds the same as it's, but not a contraction? What do you think? It is a pronoun. All right. I T S. Fill in think C by yourself. Continue. You can pause the video and finish. Now we're going to go to remember D, and then we'll be done for the day. Write the common prepositions from memory. Check to make sure you have listed all 46. Don't you just love that? 46 prepositions. You can sing the song. Should I sing a song for you? The song that we associate with prepositions. I hear people out there. I don't really want to sing because there's people out there. But remember these lists. These are all prepositions. Aboard a bat above a cross, after against a log, among a room, dead before, behind, below, beneath, beside. You can pause the video and write it down. <laughs> Between, beyond, by, down, during. Oop, wrong one. Except for from, in, inside, into, like, near, of, off, on, over, peasants, through, throughout. To, toward, under, underneath, until, up, upon, with, within, without. Aboard, about, above, across, after, against, along. Hopefully I sang that right. <laughs> so I sang for it. And you can pause the video, zoom in, and write them down. Wait, this is wrong. Why do I have this? These are helping to write silly, silly, silly me. We didn't even use that. It's these two. You can pause the video, zoom in, and write them down. Or, you're supposed to do them by memory. I understand if you don't know them, but you can sing them to yourself. You can say, aboard, about, above, across, and write them down as you sing them to yourself. Okay? <laughs> I don't know why I have that paper up there. That was silly. These are your 46 prepositions. If you get stuck, you can look back on page 115, and they, that will give you all the list of prepositions. Remember, prepositions are the song, it's a song that we normally sing to help us remember. These are your prepositions. All right, great job. Just do those two pages and you are good to go. I'm thinking only two pages. Yep. All right, see y'all later.